is wealth is a timeless adage that underscores the paramount importance of physical and mental well-being in our lives. Good health is the most valuable possession an individual can have far surpassing material riches. When we are healthy, we are empowered to live life to the fullest, pursue our passions and cultivate meaningful relationships. Good health grants us the vitality to tackle challenges, overcome obstacles and seize opportunities. It is in lieu of this that the Ogun State Government officially launched its former sector health insurance scheme to commemorate the 2024 Public Service Week. This is a groundbreaking initiative aimed at ensuring universal access to quality health care for public servants in Ogun State. Speaking at the launch ceremony held at the Obas Complex, Okemoson, Abeokuta, the Governor, Prince Dakbo Abiodu, represented by his deputy, Engineer Noimot Salako Oyedele, said that the government has subsidized the cost of the scheme exclusively for public servants by 50%. The Ogun State government has subsidized the cost of the scheme exclusively for public servants to the tune of 50%. Ogun State workers will therefore only be required to pay 500 naira monthly per head instead of the 1,000 naira monthly being paid by other beneficiaries of the scheme. I want to at this point reiterate that though the scheme has been launched, each civil servant must individually register for this scheme and collect their health insurance registration number before they can go to any hospital to take advantage of this scheme. On its part, the government has paid the counterpart funding and it's beholds on you to take advantage of this by registering immediately so that you can benefit from this scheme immediately. Edina Noimot Salako Yedele noted that the current administration is committed to ensuring the well-being and welfare of public servants who are the backbone of the government. The launch of the formal sector health insurance scheme for our public servants is a vital initiative that underscores our commitment to ensuring that every citizen has access to quality health care. It is indeed another significant milestone in the successful and ongoing implementation of our Building a Future Together agenda in Ogun State. Ogun State is blessed with one of the finest crops of public servants and with the launch of this health insurance scheme today, we are celebrating the dedication, resilience and commitment of our public service. Let me reassure our public servants and the good people of Ogun State that we will continue to ensure that their welfare and well-being remain sacrosanct in our development agenda. Engineer Salako Yedili said that the theme of the 2024 Civil Service Week aligns closely with the aspirations and ideals that the current administration holds for the public service. In a rapidly changing world where boundaries blur and changes evolve, the need for a socially responsive public service is more critical than ever. In this regard, I appreciate the choice of this year's Public Service Week's theme building a socially responsive public service in the 21st century, the place of ethics and values. This theme resonates deeply with the aspirations we have for our public service and the ideals we hold dear as a community. As we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, it has become increasingly clear that the foundations of our public service must be built upon a robust framework of ethics and values. It is our duty to ensure that our actions amplify the voices of citizens and uphold the values of society. The formal sector health insurance scheme will provide financial risk protection to all civil servants against healthcare related expenses by providing access to quality health care services without the need for out-of-pocket payments at the point of delivery of care. In a remark, the Commissioner for Health, Dr. Tomi Kuka, said the launch of the former health insurance scheme comes at a crucial time for Nigeria. This underscores His Excellency Prince Dakwa Biodo CON's commitment to the welfare of the workers in Ogun State. 
access to health is a fundamental human right. However, the ever-increasing cost of hospital care has made access to health care beyond the reach of an average citizen, with over 76% of Nigerians still paying out of pocket at the point of hospital utilization. The exposure to risk of catastrophic health expenditure is high in the country. His Excellency has launched this informal sector health insurance scheme and basic health care provision fund in February 2022 for the general public. The informal sector has been instrumental to people like artisans, market women, elderly, and the likes from the financial shock which I just described. And um, the civil service, as we know, is the engine room of any government. Does the health and general well-being of the individual constituents of this body is very important for the optimal productivity of the state. Without a doubt, government workers also are not immune to the risk of financial stress from health care expenditure. This is a system that actually provides that financial risk protection from health care expenses which the governor is now putting in place for the entire workforce. It is with delight that I make this bold to inform you that this formal sector scheme that you all have been asking for indirectly or directly is here and it's here to stay. Dr. Kuka asked our residents to take advantage of the health insurance scheme. Today, the state has again risen to his foremost position because Ogo State is known for being the state of first in everything. And by launching this formal sector health insurance scheme, we join our other southwestern states. I want to plead with the civil servants that you should please take advantage of this opportunity to build a healthier civil service, a more productive civil service, and a prosperous Ogun state, as the saying goes, Ilerani Ogunishe, your body is the only place you have to live in. Make sure you keep it healthy. In his welcome address, Ogun State Head of Service, Mr. Kainde Onosoya, submitted that the present administration has placed a high priority on the health of its workers. Health is wealth. Health makes all the other aspects of our lives meaningful. Anything can be achieved if you have good health. The absence of good health can be devastating as well. Its absence not only deprives one of meaning and joy from whatever wealth we might struggle to acquire in life. For these reasons, the present administration in Ugo State, ably led by our amiable governor, His Excellency, Prince Dapwabiodun C.O.N., places premium priority, not just on the physical health of Ogun State workers, but on the total well-being of the entire workforce, and by extension, the people of Ogun State. The governor of Ogun State, His Excellency, Prince Dapuabi Odun C.O.N., has graciously approved that the Edeto once in a year know your health diagnostic exercise should now be conducted on a quarterly basis. The head of service noted that the health plan will cover a civil servant enrollee, spouse, and up to four biological children under the age of 18. The latest offering in the robust and expanding employee health promotion policy of the state government. This scheme has been specifically designed with the public servants in mind. The financial responsibility for your health and well-being will be jointly borne by you and the state government. As an insight, the air plan will cover a civil servant enrollee, spouses, and four biological children. 
under the age of 18. Also, the Executive Secretary, Ogun State Health Insurance Agency, Dr. Afolabi Dosumu, provided an in-depth information on what the scheme entails and how it can be utilized. What exactly with this card when you get it, what does it cover? Primary health care, secondary health care, and tertiary level of care. And what do I mean by this? I will illustrate. A pregnant woman who has no problem goes to an health center and she may deliver at that health center, primary health care. Abby? But she may get to that primary health care and they tell her that, oh, you are likely to deliver by CS, in which case she goes to the next level of care, which is secondary care. She may get to our general hospital or state hospital and they say that we don't have the specialists that will attend to you. You have to go to maybe FMC or OSU. That is tertiary level of care. This card covers all these three levels of care. You are diabetic. Your diabetes is well managed. It is... They just are the primary level of care, so they can take care of you. But if there's any complication and you now need to move from one level to the other, the cast still covers you. What is the other good news that I have for us today? We are not doing co-payments. Once you have this card, every treatment that is in the benefit package is free of charge. Let me say it loud and clear. You are not expected to pay for anything once you get this card. And that is the good news the government has done today and we are bringing to you. So, we need to get our card as soon as possible. And if you now get to any of these facilities and you pay, it's because you want to pay. Because let me also tell us that at the back of each of these cards that we need to give you, there are two hotlines that are available 24 hours of the day. 24 hours. And you can take those hotlines from any of these our or the roll-on banners and we're covering the night at four. And I can show you someone we are testing. Various goodwill messages poured in from stakeholders at the event. Today marks a great milestone in our collective drive towards providing affordable and easy access to quality health care for every worker in the state. The quest for ensuring the attainment of universal coverage has resulted in the development of laws, policies, plans and strategies to expand coverage and improve access to quality health care services for all Nigerians. The signing of the NHI Act in 2022 by the then President Mohamed Buhari into law is a testament to this and it gives credence to the mandatory health insurance for citizens and residents in Nigeria. It also recognizes the state health insurance and provides for the vulnerable group form. It is delightful to know that it is during your period that the open state worker will begin to benefit from easy access to affordable for quality health care services. With this initiative, it has believed that the workers in the state stand to benefit from improved health security and well-being. Let me at this junction see this opportunity to state that the NHI as a regulatory agency will continue to provide the right leadership in promoting and creating health insurance schemes such as this that is launched today. We will continue to support and collaborate with OPSHA as usual in ensuring coverage expansion as well as improving the quality health care service across the state. We want to appreciate Ogun State Government for the launching of today. In view of the prevailing economic constraints in the country, the TUC Ogun State Council is also aligned with the government of Ogun State in pursuing a goal of universal health coverage by the year 2025 and beyond. We only want to appeal to the agency that is responsible for mobilizing resources for this scheme to allow the targeted beneficiaries to have free access to both primary secondary and tertiary healthcare services. It is therefore the wish of TUC in Nobu State to assure and reassure the government that this health intervention scheme that is aimed at easing the pains and health stress of workers in the state will enjoy our support, our faith collaboration and our patronage. Your administration has demonstrated proactiveness and a deep sense of responsibility towards those who form 
the backbone of this state, which is the workers. We commend you, Your Excellency, for the timely first and second interventions following the removal of fuel subsidy. The palliatives introduced were not just a response to the economic hardships that ensued, but a clear indication that the administration listens, understands, and acts in the best interest of its people. Your decision to take on 50% of the health insurance levy with immediate commencement of the government pledge is a bold and commendable step. It is not just a promise fulfilled, it is a covenant with workers of our dear state, Ogun State. This initiative will undoubtedly create a platform that is the financial burden of medical bill for our public servants, a body that has weighed heavily on many shoulders for too long. The Ogun State Health Insurance Scheme stands as a beacon of hope for our public servants. It represents access to quality health care, a reduction in out-of-pocket expenses, and most importantly, peace of mind. When enlisted in this scheme, every public servant can rest assured that their health and that of their family members is secured. The government committed to pay 50% on monthly premium is a significant victory for the workers' body. It is a demonstration of partnership that works, a partnership between the government and the workers that places the well-being of the people at its core. If you all believe in the maxim that health is wealth, then there exists no other statement that is apt enough to capture today's event that are saying that welfare of Auguste civil and public workers now receive concentrated interest and commitment from my employer. After all, a healthy worker will certainly not only be found to be active, but his or her productivity will be guaranteed. Meanwhile, the common economic challenges of limited resources are almost making this quest a mirage. So the ultimate rescue came to establish the state's health insurance agency. No individual in the present situation can fund his or family health bill. It is our hope that the agency is to function as effective safety net on our health for which it is proposed. Proud to this official launching, we are privy to the significant roles the agency has played and still actively playing, especially on the peoples of Ogu State, who are mainly from the informal sector. Also, to a large extent, from the available records, some appreciable members of the civil and public sector are on the health care list. It is clear from this established fact that our welfare, in the overall operational meaning of it, is almost enjoying the real status it deserves. On behalf of the entire members of the Forum of CEOs of State Social Health Insurance Agencies, we congratulate His Excellency President Kwabiono and the entire public service of the Gateway State on this great occasion of the launch of the Open State Forward Sector Health Insurance Scheme. Today's event is a testament of the commitment of the government of Ogun State to the health and the well-being of the people of the state. We commend your courage, your diligence, and your tenacity. The work has just started. Our charge to our healthcare providers is this. Please, let us ensure that quality services are delivered to the teaming enrollees of the public service of Ogun State. I stand here to congratulate the government and the people of Ogun State, especially the civil servants, on the occasion of the launching of the state former sector health insurance scheme. Um, this scheme has been on for the general public, but now it's being extended to the civil servants. This is because of the concern of the government of Ogun State for the welfare and the well-being of the entire population. And um, I want to encourage the workers to key in into the scheme that will be reducing the financial burden of the health care of civil servants and their families. I congratulate everyone here 
please let's make good uh, use of this opportunity and make sure we key ourselves into it. John Stride spoke with some civil servants. Here are their submissions. This scheme, the state health insurance scheme, is good for the civil servants or the public servants in general. Because when we look at the cost of health now, before you can go to a hospital and pay money, it's very costly now, nowadays. But with this scheme and with the help of the government by subsidizing it by 50% for the civil servant, it's a great benefit for us. And we know that a lot of people used to slum in the office nowadays due to distress or one thing or the other. By them having this privilege of going to the hospital to have medical checkup, I have my own card also. I've been to state hospital with Jaye. They gave me drugs which by the time I'm going to buy it outside, it's even more than the 6000 that we are going to pay, pay by the end of the year. And this facility, you are going to enjoy it from January to December. Let me appreciate the state government for this wonderful opportunity. So it is a welcome development and it is a good benevolence for the government to take 50% out of um, a normal that the civil servants have to pay. And I really appreciate him because at least government have decided to pay the 50% out of how to have to pay. So now it is now for us to pay the 50% part of it. So it is a good development for the government. So and we really appreciate him. I appreciate and thank the governor of Ogo State, Prince Dakwa Biodon, for this S scheme. This thing is free and I've collected my own and I've prepared everybody to go and do the same thing. The enthusiastic support from the various stakeholders underscores the scheme's importance and the state's dedication to ensuring that Ogun workers live healthy life, which will in turn improve their productivity. Igbega Ekmile Ogun, Ajoshe Bugbowani.